we'll have enough space. All right, for problem 15 and 17. 15 and 17. Um, okay, we'll start with 15, but we need to kind of set this up. Uh, it's a story problem. A park at the end of a city block is a right triangle. Okay? A park at the end of a city block is a right triangle. Okay? Just make yourself a right triangle. Right? Uh, with legs 150 and 200 feet long. Alright. Well, the shorter one would obviously be 150, and the longer one would obviously be 200, right? Keep it simple, right? Okay. Make a scale drawing of the park using the following scales. Okay? So, uh, they want you to make a scale drawing of 1.5 inches uh, to feet. So, what I want you to do is come up with, I want you to just come up with the math. Okay? Alright? One, and, and with 15, it's 1.5 inches to feet. Is that what I said? To 100 feet. Okay? Right? And so, how many inches is this side going to be? How many inches is this side going to be? And again, um, this is in how many, this is in feet, right? So that's important. We know this is in feet. This is in feet. So if I want to change this to scale, right? Then I'm going to take this. Um, this is in feet. What do I want it in? If I'm going to make this a design on a piece of paper, I want it in inches. inches, right? So I'm going to end in inches, right? So I want that on top. I want 1.5 inches on top. Right? And the 100 feet on bottom. Okay? And then I'm going to multiply it by this one and that one. So we're going to find both sides, right? So then I would say, okay, uh, times 100 feet, right? 150 feet, okay? And then it would cut, I would get the answer in inches. It would equal x inches. So, I mean, right off the bat, it's zeros get canceled out. I know that a 2, I can do my upside down division here, right? What goes into the top and to the bottom? Because it doesn't matter just one of them in the top and one of them in the bottom, right? And so I could multiply these because I know that 15 squared is very good, 225 because we're all got our squares down, right? So, but it'd be 225 with one decimal moved over, so it'd be 25.5, right? Um, but I can also just say, well, I know that 2 goes into 10, uh, well, 5 goes into 10, and 5 goes into 15, right? So 5 goes into 15 how many times? 3. 3 times, right? Over 2. Okay? Now 2 doesn't go into anything here, right? Well, what is 3 times 1.5? Um, 3 times 1.5? Mm -hmm. So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 0.5 is 1.5, right? Okay. Over 2. So I got 4.5 over 2. Right? So if I divide 4.5 inches, what do I get? Divide that by 2. 4.5 inches would be... Right? 
Very good. Two and a quarter. Because you got, if you got four fifty, and you give me half of it, four dollars and fifty cents, you give me half of it. How much you got? Two twenty-five. Right? Yeah, you got half. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you know you have half. <laughs> you got two twenty-five. Right? It's two twenty-five inches. Okay. So that's how much that this side of the triangle is going to be is 2.25 inches. Okay? And then you would draw it. Alright? Next, how long is the other side? Okay, well, I got to do the same thing. 1.5 inches over 100 feet times 200 feet over nothing equals some x inches, right? So, how many times is 100 going to 200? Twice. How many is two, one and a half? So if you got $1.50 twice, three bucks. So three inches. That means this side is going to be three inches long. Okay? And you have your new triangle. Pretty simple. So problem 17.